Hey guys, Jerry here, and welcome back to Great Tech Introduction. Yeah, so that's not me, that's just a sheep. Um, as you saw last time, um, I had started begin, started beginning, started beginning. Be I had begun starting, begun, begun building this um, house here that I've now. I haven't completed it, but I've definitely come a long way with it. Um, I went with the um, the exact same foundation as we set up last time with the the cobblestone and the oak wood uh, support beams, and then I added in the acacia wood, um, and some glass panes, you know, just filling in the windows, making it a safe base, and then, yeah, some cross beams here, um, a bit of space up here for you know outdoor activities, and then. Once I have a bunch more materials, I'm going to finish the construction of the main house, which is going to be this bit in here in the middle. So these um, two out here are going to remain flat and kind of be outdoors, uh, terraz terraces or what, whatever you want to call them. So, the house is looking decently good, um, in my opinion at least. The fir wood that you see I'm using for the, um, the floor ceiling and the um, stairs here is from some trees that I found way over in that direction over there. Um, I also found some other things over there which I would like to show you guys um, because I haven't actually explored that much yet. I've just been gathering resources pretty much so. But I have been making mental notes of things that were worth exploring. If that makes any sense at all. So I think that's what we're gonna dedicate this episode to, to in terms of gameplay at least. Um, exploring and getting away from creepers. That's what we're gonna do. Now, while we're just exploring, um, I also have a couple of other things that I want to talk to you guys about in terms of, like, the whole planning of the upcoming uh, series. And um, one of the key things on my mind really is um, the format of the videos, like the way I record them, the way I edit them, and such. At the moment, I have TerraFirmaCraft, which is pretty much. Um, my preferred way of doing stuff in terms of editing and recording. Like, I record each episode as a standalone. One session is one episode, pretty much, um, with a definite, definite start and a definite end with a goal to achieve during that time. And that seems to be working pretty well for me, but the question is whether you guys are actually happy with that or whether you would prefer that I maybe record for a bit longer periods of time and then cut out a bit more footage so as to you get more actual gameplay content in each episode but you kind of miss out on a bit of my shall we call it train of thought like the train might end up leaving without you if I cut out too much and that's that's really the uh, the challenge that I have because either you get the entire um, line of thought that leads me from A to B as we do now, where I pretty much, if I am to cut out anything, I will do it while recording by pausing and then um, completing that repetitive task that I've been working on or whatnot. And just to interrupt myself here, you can see on the map what I'm actually heading for right now. It appears that there's a village up here on this mountain, or on the side of the mountain, depending on how, how it generated. Um, so, yeah... What I really want, would like to ask you guys is whether you would prefer that I just keep doing what I do right now and kind of give you guys the whole train of thought, give you guys the whole okay, this is how Jerry plays the game, rather than um, mucking up with it and, and saying, okay, this is how the game is played, or this is what you achieve in the game, but um, you'll be losing out a bit on the, the whole personality side of it because I would be have, I would have to interrupt myself and cut myself. Not cut myself as such, but cut my narrative in um, into pieces, and that would maybe ruin the um, I wouldn't say immersion, but the uh, like the continuity of the of it all. Um, again, it's a question I'd like to ask you guys because I've been I have I have done both in the past. I know how to edit and cut out stuff. Um, but it's again, I don't know if it would actually add anything to it because um. Greg Tech, as well as um, many of the other mods and games I play, kind of require you to think about what you do. And if I start um, breaking up my thoughts like that for you guys, then I have a feeling that you wouldn't actually experience 
the qu quite the way I intended it. So, it's really a trade-off between um, more cohesion, more continuity in the speech, or more gameplay per episode. I know some people pr would prefer one, some people would maybe prefer the other, but um, I'm gonna let you guys comment on that and see um, what you have to say, and then if, depending on, of course, what, what you say and how I interpret it, I'll try to react to it. The other thing that's kind of on my mind is um, in terms of community interaction. Because um, Minecraft as such is not really a game that lends itself too much. Um, like, hey, let, let's, play with the, let's play with the fans, let's do that sort of thing, let's do this sort of thing. Um, that doesn't really work with, with the game. Uh, what does work, however, is you guys telling me what you would like to see, t um, giving me ideas for builds, uh, for uh, like solutions to problems that I encounter and I throw out to you guys, um, or just simple requests for content that you'd like to see me more of, or yeah, like, you know, just whatever happens to come to mind, like, um, interaction with you guys is really important to me, but the... Um, the way it, it works in Minecraft is really kind of... Yeah, I, I really don't know how it would work best. Um, other than what we we'll already do with Terraformcraft, that I present something, allow you guys to react to it, and then if anything comes up that um, is worth putting into the next episode, then I'll do so. So yeah, this village has bookshelves, crafting tables, a bunch of villagers, um, various, various kinds. I'm not seeing any sort of loot loot other than the uh, all the farmable stuff that I already picked up. Nothing in here? Nope. I would like if there had been an apiary here or something. That would be really nice. Um, but instead this guy just has a tree in his backyard. That's clever. Does he have a door down here somewhere? That I could potentially find? He has a window. I think the door is all the way over here, unfortunately. There we are. Door. Yeah, these guys, they're selling bread, they're selling leather hats, and he has a massive tree in his backyard. Like, this is the, this is the entire backyard, pretty much. And some guy being trapped over here. Two guys. You want to... Oh, you want to buy books. That means we could actually get a couple of emeralds. Right off the bat by just breaking the bookshelves, but I'm gonna keep that in mind for a later time, I think. So, find a way out of here again and check out the last couple of houses. Now, yeah, community interaction. What else can I do to include you guys, other than just um, saying, hey guys, comment? And one of my ideas was that you guys can help me decide my sort of uh, what style of building I'm gonna go for with the, the base and such. Um, like I've been building a lot in Minecraft over the years. I, I'm i quite good at building I'd say. Like I've received quite a bit of good comments on my builds and such so I reckon I could pull off most of, um, of the styles of building I'm about to mention to you guys. So as, for those of you who have been following me and High Stake for a while, you'll know that um, with High Stakes, I've been doing a couple of builds in sort of a bar baroque, baroque, whatever, um, like Renaissance style, with the library in the um, Better Than Wolves world. We've also been doing sort of Greek, uh, Roman style stuff with columns and lots of uh, little details, that sort of thing. And um, I've previously also done uh, like a medieval castle. Um, in the R&D series on high stakes, um, at the moment I'm building a wizard's tower, which is going to be like a very classic wizard's, wizard's tower, um, with a couple of magic elements that I try to add into it, of course. Without it looking completely unrealistic, of course. That's like that. That's one of the big things about me when I build, is that I try to keep some sort of, I wouldn't say realism, but at least um, suspension of disbelief. Um, like, if I if I'm to build something... Um, it needs to look as though it could actually exist, like... 
I won't be building large floating bits um, that you just wonder how the hell is that even possible. Everything has to be supported, everything has to be firmly grounded. Um, that's just the way I do, as you saw with the house back, or back with the house, um, I had a lot of support pillars in order to kind of keep up the roof. I had a, a cro uh, beam going across where the um, the wall of the uh, the upper floor will be as to support it even more and kind of make it look as though this could actually be a real house. And that's something that's kind of dear to me that I I, I try to keep the, um, the the stuff not looking realistic but looking at least um, like it could exist because that's re that's really what um, sets a good build apart from a bad one in my opinion that if something looks as though it could actually exist then you start to believe okay this is a this is a house this looks like a house and not just a a dirt square or a wooden square or whatnot um it also adds a certain homely feel to it like you're more comfortable in a house that looks as though it could exist than you would be in in something that kind of looks as though it might fall apart or just doesn't make sense I mean, stuff that doesn't make sense does have certain purposes in terms of aesthetics, but it's, again, in moderation. Stuff like houses are big, and they take up um, a lot of time and resources to build, and ideally you want them to, to look as good as you can so that you don't get tired of them or that you want to use them, and they're practical. And part of being practical is also being nice to, like, having the house being nice to uh, spend time in. I might just be on a completely strange rant to you guys here, I don't know, but um, in, in any case, like, that's, it, it's important to me to, to try and keep the houses looking like actual buildings and not just um, squares. That's also why it's taken me this long to, to build what I have at the moment in this world, because it, I want it, I want every little bit to fit together as much as I can so it, it looks like an actual house and not just something cobbled together uh, to spend the first night in. But yeah, in terms of other building styles I could suggest, um, Greg Tech is a very tech-like um, mod. It, it involves um, superconductors and fusion reactors, um, big industrial machines, the sort of thing that while Many of them seem like something you would have in like Renaissance times or early st steam age, industrial age. Um, the aesthetics of them, at least with the default texture pack, is very much smooth metal surfaces, like very sterile um, hospital kitchen-like thing. And that's why I think it's a sort of a modern um, architecture style would fit the series the best. Now, modern is not an... Um, something I have a lot of experience in. I've never really done it much before in terms of like big builds or mini builds, so that would be kind of interesting. I think the closest I've come to it has been like a 1970s style factory with um, or or 50s style factory with big chimneys and slanted, slanted roofs and warehouse and such, uh, loading base. I think that's pretty much the closest I've been to making some sort of industrial modern looking kind of thing. And there's a lot of stuff chasing me right now. Get inside my house. Get inside. Now, this house, of course, fits none of those building styles because it's kind of a country country cottage um, house that you might find um, out in the forest or whatnot. But it's... Again, it's... Um, built with the materials I have available to me at the moment and that kind of puts a limitation on what you can do. So without better materials then I can't really uh, differentiate my builds much from or make them r that unique. So that's the thing to keep in mind of course. Um, as soon as I start getting machines and getting um, proper tools I'll have much more access to stone and as we saw earlier I found some, some black cobblestone. There's also a quarry stone around. Um, we have plenty of glass we can use. So there are plenty of materials that would make building modern, or modern-esque at least, um, possible. And, sorry about that. Make it possible and make it look good. But again, it's a, it's a, um, a field of um, 
construction I haven't I don't have much experience in, so it will also be a, a challenge for me to kind of find inspirational pictures to work from and create this sort of aesthetic to it. But again, I'm open to suggestions. Um, I'm not a fan of putting everything in one big house. I would prefer to have like separate structures for woodworking, for um, smelting and metalworking, that sort of thing. Keep that in mind. Um, so it'll be more smaller builds and not just one big thing. Like the power plant would probably be a structure by itself and then I would run power lines across the other builds. Trying to keep them sort of aesthetic to that as well. So, that's gonna happen. But, um, let's see, where was I? What haven't I not mentioned yet? Oh yeah, I'm still talking about, or I'm still thinking about other possibilities for community interaction. Like how, how can I include you guys and make you feel part of the series without actually having you in the series? Because that's a bit inconvenient and kind of random if I have to invite every single one of you. I mean... It is possible I do have a server set up for this world, so technically I could play with other people as well. But again, it's a matter of um, getting it done and getting it, it set up, and it's a custom mod pack, so people would have to install all the mods by themselves and such, so there's a lot of hassle involved in that. So any way to include a lot of you guys without having to having all of us to go all, all to all that trouble um, seems to me like a good good uh, expenditure of time so um, I know that in previous a lot of other youtubers have like done stuff like um, but the best comment would get a little um, play plaque on a wall somewhere like a comment Hall of Fame um, or I don't know, naming buildings, structures, tools after you guys, like I did with the Nomoria naming gnomes. That, that that last one is very much a possibility, like um, if I get a chainsaw and someone says, hey, dips on the chainsaw, then I'll get the levels, get an anvil and name it after you. Uh, we could totally do that. Um, the same with buildings, like if someone makes a really good comment or suggestion to a building, um, I might go ahead and just name it, name the building after them. Kind of put, get your name out there, get your name in in on the the series. Would that be fun? Interesting, or just a bit of um, I don't know, ego boosting. In any case, it's again a complete possibility. Uh, I don't I don't really fancy the comment hall of fame kind of deal. If there is a good comment, I'll of course call it out and reply to questions and such. Um, I try, I always try my best to do that. So. If you guys have any questions or requests of me, um, by all means put it in the comments and I'll take it under advisement for the next recording session. Please do bear in mind that I sometimes rec record more than one episode at a time, so sometimes a delay might be an episode or two, um, or an answer might be an episode or two delayed compared to when you ask the question because I have a bit of stuff recorded, like I tend to not record a lot in advance. But I I do have to do like sessions of stuff. Um because when I'm in the mood to record, I'll try to record as much as I can. And then if I'm if I have a day where I, when I'm not in the mood then I don't have to and then you guys won't have to listen to a boring episode because I didn't feel like it that day. So that's something I try very hard to do. Um now, I know this episode has not been a lot of gameplay, it's mostly been catching up, showing you guys what I've been doing between recordings. So, yeah, just to recap. Community interaction, um, depending on what you guys would like, naming structures, naming tools, that sort of thing, to get your name in the series, a bit like we have with Nomoria. If that's fun, then by all means I'll make sure to do it. Um, it's kind of fun for me as well, to be honest. Um, Give me suggestions as to how to uh, progress with the style of building, like what should my base look like. Pictures is a really good idea. Um, but I don't know if you can... I don't allow links in the comments on my videos, so any sort of pictures would have to be... I don't know, I don't, if you can send them to my Google Plus profile or whatnot. Um, or just a specific search term uh, for 
for Google, and then I can find find a picture that you mentioned maybe. Again, I normally build when I try to build something uh, um, that looks good, and it's something I haven't done before. I'll try and find a picture, and then set up a location. Okay, this is where the picture was taken from. This is where I'll observe the house from, and then I I keep going back to that spot when I build to try and make sure that okay, this looks correct. This and how how long should the various distances be and such. Um, and finally, video format. Would you like me to just continue this sort of I ramble continuously? So you get the entire train of thought, but I may be not I may not be able to like get as much done in terms of gameplay. Um and then stick with doing repetitive stuff off camera either between sessions or with the recording paused so I can return to you guys. Um or would you like me to just record a bit more for each episode and then start cutting it down? Which to be honest, I, I prefer the the first one because it not only is it a bit easier for me, but it's also easier for me to keep my train of thought going for 20 minutes than it is to try and and stretch it out and not just start talking slow and getting less filled into the episodes. But um, your, thought, your thoughts on it are very much appreciated, so by all means use that comment box below. Until next time, I'm Jerry and this has been Greg Tech Prologue. Bye.